once you have your channels defined in the EOS, let's take a look at how you might customize some of their attributes. So in our patch display, what we now want to do in the CIA is use the soft key that takes us to the attributes section. And we will see that we now have some new fields in the CIA as well as some additional columns available to us on our external display in our patch tab. And specifically what I, what I want to look at here is in a multi-parameter fixture, you may have some options that you need to customize. In our virtual rig, we have some MAC2Ks. And of course, MAC2Ks have the capability of having several different color or gobo wheels in them. And you can actually go in and tell the EOS what wheel is loaded into your fixture. So let's take a look at how you would do that. First, I want to select the fixtures that I want to work with. In this case, it's channels 31 through 38, which are my MAC2Ks. And in that attributes tab, you can see that all the way to the right-hand side, we have a couple of fields there that allow us to choose the color wheel or the various gobo wheels or the beam shaper wheels that are in that unit. So to make a change to that, I simply go and touch in that field. And now I'm presented with a browser that gives me all of the color wheels that might be loaded and all of the default color wheels that typically ship with these units. And you can see that uh, there's a table here that shows you exactly what's in there and they're all labeled so you can see very quickly. If I need to make a change, I simply choose the one that I have and the new information shows up just like that. So I can go through and select that for each of my various color wheels and gobo wheels and even the beam effects that are loaded into my, into my fixture. Now if I happen to have a custom wheel, uh, I can go ahead and create one of those as well. So what I do is my uh, soft keys now have an option for new. I click new and I have a new wheel. I can label it by using my label soft key and I'll call this one custom one. And now I simply uh, can begin to add frames. And the way I do that is I can use the insert soft key or I can simply hit my finger in the CIA in the row here that says new. And because I'm working with colors, I'm presented with a color browser. So I can choose some Roscoe colors that I happen to have. And each time I pick a color, it goes back out and allows me to keep clicking some colors. So maybe those are a few colors that I have. And once I'm finished, I push the done soft key. And I have now assigned that custom color wheel to my Mac 2Ks. So it's a very easy way to do that. And the Gobos will do is the same way. It will present you with all of the various Gobo options that you can that you can choose to build your own wheels. Also here in the attribute section is where I might want to invert the pan or the tilt or even swap the pan and the tilt depending on how my fixtures are, are hung in the rig. If I am working with a dimmer channel, I can also put things like preheat proportion and curve right here in the attributes portion of patch. So that is where we would do that. So that is how you would use the attributes portion of patch to customize some of the fixtures that you have patched in your EOS.